Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Let's get started with some metabolic strength. Today we will do six exercises of cardio. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to do all our cardio first. Then we're going to move into some lower and upper body combination exercises, some compound moves. We will do six exercises and we'll get through those twice, maybe three times, depending on our time. And then we've got six exercises that are core combinations. So we'll be doing some core work along with some upper and lower body work as well. Six of those, we'll get through those at least twice, maybe three times, check our time, see how we're doing. So before we get started, as always, we're gonna get warmed up just a little bit. So I want you to stretch out those hips, just bring the leg up, give it a nice stretch, get the creaks out. Kind of a cloudy day today, but temperature's not too bad. Let's start with some easy taps. So the exercises for the cardio set are high intensity. We'll be doing some jumps. Um, you can always take it down if you don't want to do the jumping part. Not a problem. I'm also going to be using um, a dumbbell and a plate for a couple of these. And then for the rest of the exercises, you'll need dumbbells. Get some varieties some lighter and some heavier, depending on what exercise we're doing. Just kind of keep moving here a little bit. Let's do some torso twists. Get that stomach pulled in. And just turn at the waist. Now I'll add some punches. And then let's go ahead and come back to a tap tap. Arms up. Now keep the feet the same and we're just gonna open and close. Warm up the chest. And then we're gonna bring it up to high knees. So our first exercise we will be using some weight. You can use a weight plate or you can grab a dumbbell, whatever you happen to have. All right, so I'm ready to get started. Hopefully you are too. I'm going to use a 12 pound. Got all kinds of things propped up in here. Hang on. I'm going to use a 10 pound plate. So what we're going to do, set the timer for a minute. We've got 45 seconds on, 15 off. We'll start with exercise one. So I'm going to do side squat and press forward. So we're going to jump side to side and press the weight. Okay? Fun, right? So I'm going to start with the timer, 45 seconds. Get ready, and here we go. Start moving side to side. Try to bring that squat jump up, press forward, straight out. Keep that weight at shoulder height. Press, chest press. You can always leave the weight part out of it and just do the side to side hops. We've got 15 seconds left. Try to land both feet at the same time. Three, two, and one. We're down. 15 second rest. Next, we've got high knees with some movement. So I'm going to high knee to the left, your right and then do two squats, and then I go back. All right, one, two, three, four, two squats. One, two, three, four. So try to make a little bit of a lateral motion as you do those high knees. One, two, three, four, and up two. Bring them up high. Two squats at the end. 
Sit those hips back. 15 seconds left. Five seconds. Last one. And stop. Next. This is called the Heisman. So it's a one, two, three, one, two, three. Three hops, hold the last three, two, and go. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you wanna hold a football, do that. Two, try to pick up a little bit more space. Travel a little bit further distance. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Next up, got a plyo jump. So you're gonna do kind of like a long jump. Start down low, as far forward as you can go, and then jog it back. In two, and one. Here we go. Try to cover as much distance as you can. Land on both feet. Knees soft, hips back, chest up. seconds left. Use those arms to help propel you forward. Five seconds left. And rest. Next, we need some dumbbells. I'm going to grab eight pounds. This is kind of burpee-ish. Let me show it to you and then you can join in. You're going to come down, jump back, do a raise on each side and then press. Join me. And shoulder press. Working many different parts of our body on this one. Core stabilization down in that plank. Legs on the jumps. Shoulders on the press ups. About 10 seconds left. And stop. Last. We've got a plank move with a thruster. And we're going to go side, center, side. Uh, looks like this. I'm going to come in and out. Side, up, out. Join me. 45 seconds. If you want to take the jump out, step up, step back, step out, step in. Back, back, back. Out, out, in, in. Okay? Or keep the hops. And stop. All right. Six exercises. Six minutes. Cardio. Good stuff. We're going to move on to some lower body and upper body combination moves. You'll need some dumbbells. Um, some kind of a bench if you have one, or you can use a chair. And we're going to do a set of 15 and then a set of 12. And then the goal is to do a third set that you take to fatigue. So let's see how we do with time. 
So the first move is a Bulgarian squat. You will need some dumbbells. I've got eights. You're gonna put one leg up on that bench or chair that you found. We're gonna hop the other foot forward. We're gonna come down and then lateral raise, okay? I'm gonna grab lighter weights. Shoulders don't need too heavy of a weight. So we've got, since we've got this exercise has um, single leg, we're not gonna do 15 on each side. We're gonna go with 10 on each side, okay? So here we go. Down, up, lateral raise, down, up, two, and three. Keep your upper body upright. Make sure you've stepped out far enough that your knee stays behind your toe on that front leg. Four more. Two more. One more. And up. Switch legs. All right, ten of these. There's one. And two. Three. Try to go straight up and down. Try not to lean forward like this. Okay? So try to keep that body nice and straight. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And up. Woo! That burns. All right. Next up, we've got a squat to forward raise. So we will do 15 of these. So feet hip width apart. We're gonna bring those weights up as we squat down. So down, forward raise. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. You decide how deep you want to go in that squat. Five more. Here's three. Two more. One more. All right. Coming down to the floor. You'll need dumbbells for a chest press. So you can probably go a little bit heavier. We're going to work chest and glutes at the same time. We've got a chest press to glute bridge. So we'll come down here, drag those dumbbells. So when I press up, I'm also going to squeeze into a glute bridge. So arms down and press. Press through the heels. Squeeze the chest at the top. Make sure you're breathing. Good squeeze up. Five more, here we go. Here's one and two. Three, four, one more, and five. All right, good job. Moving on, I've got a deadlift to a clean and press. I'm gonna use a bar, but if you don't have one, dumbbells work just fine. So this move, you roll your shoulders back, you just hinge at the hips for the deadlift, come up, bar comes up, flip, and press, okay? So with dumbbells, it'll work. You're just here, down, up, flip, and press, okay? All right, 15 of these. Roll those shoulders. Pull the core in and hinge. Down and up, up, press. Use the legs. Keep the bar close to your body. Don't let it get out in front of you. 
Start on the shoulders. Three, it's a quick snap. Up here, snap. Drop those shoulders down. Get it right underneath that bar. Press the legs up. Job, hinge it forward. I'll show you from the side what I mean by keeping that bar close. Okay. Want to be safe. Let's do four more. Here's four. And three. If you're a body pumper, you know we do a lot of these. Let's do one more, because they're fun. And down, all right. Now, dumbbell. Single arm, so just one dumbbell. Now this one, we've got two different sides to work on. So, we will just do 10. So we're gonna side lunge, come up, and upright row. And raise that leg. Getting some balance work in here. Core, legs, upper body, the whole schmear. One more. Switch sides. All the way down, bring it up. There's six. Keep your chest lifted. You want to bend the knees to get down. Like this. One more. And up. All right. One more exercise in this group. I'm just gonna work basically the legs on this one. So we're gonna come down to a lunge. Back leg is straight. And all I'm gonna do is bend it and straighten. When I come up, I'm squeezing the glutes. You can hold your arms out, do little circles, and a little another element. Bend and straighten. One more. All right, bring it up. Other side. Start with that back leg straight. Nice deep lunge. Arms up. Here's one. You may notice, I just noticed myself, this side's much tighter in my quad. Time to stretch. Maybe roll with the foam roller. Two more, one more, and up. All right, that's that set. Moving on, core combinations. We've got a set of 12 and then 10. We'll do that set of 12 first. We're gonna start out with the Spider-Man push-up. So this is gonna work lots of different areas. Got chest, core, legs. We're down in this plank position. So we're gonna do a push up and leg comes out to the side. Drop to the knees if you need to, but try a few on your toes. There's five, and one for six, which is actually 12, if you count both. All right, next, we need a dumbbell. We've got an eight. So we're gonna get in that quadruped position on all fours. So we can use core, triceps, glutes. So I'm gonna bring this uh, dumbbell up here, and I'm going to perform a tricep kickback. At the same time, I'm gonna kick back with the opposite leg. 
So you can see here how the core plays a role, keeping you balanced. We'll go for 10 of these on each side. And 10, switch. Other way. Bring it up. You want to try to keep that elbow anchored at your hip so your arm's not flailing up here. Flailing. Pull the abs in. One more. And 10. All right. Next. Stand it up. You'll need two dumbbells. So, you're going to lunge, row, kick back, row, and come down and step back. So we'll do, let's do eight on each side, okay? So lunge it forward, row, kick, and down. Same leg, two, and back, three, and back. Four, four more. There's one. And two. Three, one more. We're gonna switch legs. And four. Other legs coming out, here we go. Those triceps burning. I am. Lunge it up. Two more. Last one. And all right. Next. I'm sure you're going to love this one. So. We're going to do a crab walk. So we'll come down to the floor. So you did a crab walk in school, remember? Right. So what we're going to do, you want to bring the hips up. We're going to crab walk to the side and then kick each leg. So we're going to crab walk two times. Kick, reach with the opposite arm. Crab walk. Two. Kick and reach. You got it. And the grass. Fun, right? Don't let the hips sink. Pick them up. Cross. Kick, kick. It's about five. We'll do eight of these. Around six, six over, six back. Two more sets. Bring it across, kick it, kick it, and back. One more time. Over, over, kick, kick. If you don't want to reach for the foot, you can just kick it. And down. All right, one last exercise in this group. We're gonna do a sit up and add a bicep curl. So I'm gonna grab those eight pound dumbbells again. We're gonna come down, sit up position, and I'm just gonna have the dumbbells down here. So I'm gonna come up, curl, and go down. Up. Curl, and down. Back up. There's 
five. And six. Got 12 to do. Seven. Eight. And up. Nine. Two more. Try to complete that curl before you start moving back down. And up. Let's do one more. And all the way down. Okay. So we got through three different groups of exercises. Six each. Let's see what time we got. You know what? I think we should go through it again. Don't you? What's that? Okay, sure, let's do it again. Let's start with that cardio again. Now that I know what we're doing, might be able to get through it a little bit quicker. We're gonna start with that squat jump with the plate press. Get my timer ready. 45 seconds. Find that plate or dumbbell. Why don't we take these? How about if we take these to 30 seconds? That way we won't run too long, okay? 30 seconds. Here we go. Remember? Yes. How could you forget? You can always uh, just do this one spear would be done. No one will judge anyone for that. So since we're shortening these, we'll take less of a rest in between each exercise. Five seconds left. Get ready for those high knees, right and left. So high knee, squat, squat. In three, two, and one. Two squats. Two squats. You guys enjoying this? I always feel a lot better after about 10 or 15 minutes into it. Takes me a while to get warmed up. One more right that way. Heismans. One, two, three, one, two, three. seconds. Five seconds left. And stop. Long jumps. Long jump. Jog back. In three, two, and one. How far can you go? If this makes you nervous, we're going to back your knees. You can do this. Okay. Whatever you need. Back. Let's do two more. One more. All right, find some dumbbells. We've got those. Burpee like move with the dumbbells. We'll start in three, two, and one. Bring it down and up and back. Row, row. Up, forward. Raise it up. And up. All right, those plank thrusters with that side to side movement. Bring it down. Start here. And go. Center side, center side. Five 
seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, moving on. We've got that Bulgarian squat with the side raises. So find that bencher chair. This time we'll do eight on each side. Leg up, hop it out. Here we go. One and two, up three and four and five, six, one more. Switch. Got it. One. And two. Halfway. Four more. Here's three. And two. One more. And up. Good. Shake them out. Squat to forward raise. Ten of these. Ready? Down, raise, up. Actually, I'm supposed to do 12 of these. So we're going to do 12. I got a good sweat going on. Sit those squats back. Pull those abs in. Should not be feeling this in your, up your lower back. If you are, really focus on pulling in those abs. Two more. One more. All right. Chest press to glute bridge. On the floor. Dumbbells. You've got 12 of these. On your back. Here we go. Everything comes up at the same time. Press through the heels. Really get those glutes fired up. Four more. Here's four. And three. Two, one more, and up, nice. All right, deadlift to clean and press. Bar or dumbbells. We've got 12. Shoulders back, set the legs. Remember, bar placement. whole entire body for this move. Legs should be working hard, pushing that bar up. Let's go four more. Here's one. And two. One more. You got it. Great. All right, single arm, side lunge to row. One dumbbell. So legs apart. We're gonna lunge and leg comes up. Up four. side. Four more. Keep that upper body nice and tall when you stand. One more. And up. Good. Okay. 
last set exercises. Spider-Man push-ups. Down to the floor. We've got 10 of these total, so five on each side. Remember, try to do a few on your toes. All right. Good one. And two. Three, two more sets. One more set. Last one. Woo! All right. Kneeling tricep, leg kicks. Grab a dumbbell. So, anchor that elbow. All fours. Kick back as you tricep kick. Brace the core. One more. Other side. Get set. Abs in. Here we go. Four more. Two more. Last one. Great. Keeping with working the triceps. Two dumbbells. We'll lunge, kick back. Lunge, row, kick back. So we'll lunge forward. Row, kick back. Come back. Same leg. There's two. And three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Last one. Switch, left leg comes out, or right, depending on which one you started with. There's one. Two. And three. I like it when I can play music and you can't hear me breathing so heavy. Four. Three more. Two more. One more. And down. Ooh. All right. Next, crab walk. You know what? I think we forgot an exercise. We'll have to do that one. Crab walk first. All right, crab walk side to side. Kick, opposite hand, opposite toe. Bring it up. What did we do last time? Eight. What is six? There's one. Okay. Must have kick. Open back up, 
come across. Just try to lift that shoulder off the floor. Let's do 10 on each side. Switch. Four more. Reach. Feel those obliques as you come across your body with that dumbbell. Reach toward the toes. Two more. Last one. And reach. Good. All right, set up the bicep curls and we're done. Time to put our dumbbells. We'll do 10 of these. Arms down. Get ready for that sit up. Sit up. Curl. And down. Remember, roll up one vertebra at a time. We don't want to plop down. We've got five more. There's one. And two. Three, two more, and four. Last one, coming up. Bring it up, and five. Woo, way to go. Sit. Nice work, everybody. So, benefits of metabolic strength training. You're working multiple systems at the same time. Therefore, keeping that heart rate elevated, working on coordination of different muscles at the same time, helping your body move as one unit, helping you get stronger, get that metabolism revved up, keep it revved up for more of the day, not just while you're exercising, get that afterburn effect, and it's fun. Stretch, stretch. If you have a foam roller, not a bad idea to roll out those tight areas. Like I just discovered a couple of spots that I need to work on. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next week. Stay safe.